I want to talk to you about how to start a trucking company with no money, okay? I mean, starting a trucking company is a pretty complicated already. So if you have a money problem, let's say if you are broke, this can really add a, an extra layer of complication to the whole thing. So having the ability to start a trucking company with no money is really good, especially when it comes to uh, helping you scale the business down the road. So here's a prologue I want you to really pay attention to. One thing for sure, if you are trying to really uh, start a trucking company with no money, you got to have the right relation, the, not the right relationship, but the right vision, the right strategy, and most importantly, the right methodology. Okay. And that's what I want to explain to you in today's conversation. I want to explain to you how to actually have the right methodology, how to actually uh, foster the right relationship, because you, you will need to have the right relationship to actually uh, get up, get your business off the ground. That's for sure. Okay. But one thing for sure, you can actually uh, start a tracking company with no money. And uh, I mean, during COVID, I mean, uh, the government helped a lot of players uh, through uh, the Paycheck Protection Program, the, the Triple P. And that was a big back back in the days, like three, four years ago. But nowadays, you can still actually uh, start a tracking company with no money. OK, it is totally possible. And although it is challenging, that's for sure. That's why I was just telling you that you need to really uh, have a vision. You got to have the right methodology and you also have to leverage options such as a uh, zero down truck leases government grants, partnerships, investor funding, or specific loans targeted to those starting with uh, minimal capital. Now, one thing for sure, the more prepared you are, the more documentation you have, the better. Because the whole thing is if you don't have money, you better have, you better be strong when it comes to uh, preparation. You gotta be strong when it comes to paperwork. You gotta be strong, like things like uh, uh, a trucking company business plan. Those are totally normal. I mean, it should be normal for you, okay? And when you when you talk about uh, financial statements, like what are the financial projections, what kind of uh, loads you want to haul, what kind of niche you want to focus on, because when it comes to trucking, you have a pretty uh, a pretty wide uh, wide uh, sector, right? From reefer all the way to a hazmat. What 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 are you following? Where do you find yourself? Do you want to do OTR or you just want to do uh, like state uh, deliveries? It's really important to really think about those things from the get-go, especially if you are if you are going to start a trucking company with no money, because you're going to have to actually explain your vision to uh, all the key stakeholders. So when you think about starting a trucking company with no money, here is the evaluation I really want you to pay attention to. I first want to talk about challenges in starting a trucking a new trucking company with no money. And then I'll start. I'll talk about the benefits and opportunities. And the reason why I want to talk about the the drawbacks first is that I really want to give you a foundation of uh, the uh, challenges of the hurdles that you might have to fight against. Okay. Now, one thing for sure. I mean, money is money is not the first thing that you have. Um, the first challenge you have you're gonna have. You have to really understand that uh, you have to think about the cost of a truck. Because uh, basically, when you want to uh, start a, a new trucking company with no money, that means that you cannot buy a truck. So either two things: when you, if you cannot buy a truck, of course you need a you need a truck to have a to operate a trucking company. So you're gonna you're gonna either think about uh, leasing the the truck or financing it. Or I mean, those are the two options. And there is actually a third option that's actually a little bit in between. There's actually you you working with uh, a uh, a third party to actually uh, drive for them. So it, it's, it's kind of similar to having uh, ha not having authority, your own authority, and actually uh, working on somebody else's authority at least until you get your own authority. This is kind of similar. So you can have a you can actually acquire not acquire, but you can actually have access to a trucking uh, to a truck to a to a, a vehicle through a third party. Okay, and so you gotta be also be aware that there is also. There are no money down semi trucks, semi truck loans that can really help you out. OK, and a semi truck loan can mitigate this challenge that you have to some extent, but it still necessitates regular repayments, often with interest, which means what? If you don't have money to start, you better have a, a strategy to uh, be able to afford the repayments. OK, which means you have to look at the uh, the cost uh, of uh, the, the cost. So costs such as the APR interest cost, but also fuel cost. You have maintenance of the trucks. Okay. Really important. So maintenance of the truck is really critical, especially in the long run and uh, insurance, of course. And uh, lastly, getting a business, a uh, trucking business off the ground involves uh, 
dealing with various trucking issues such as obtaining necessary permits and adhering to our regulations, finding reliable drivers unless you want to drive yourself, okay? And you also want to think about securing consistent contracts. I mean, the consistent contract part of things is really important because the revenue aspect is going to finance actually uh, the uh, whatever loan or whatever leasing agreement that you were able to uh, qualify for. And you have to really secure the cash inflow aspect of things. I want to talk to you now about the benefits and opportunities in the trucking industry. So if you want to start a trucking company with no money this year, it is totally possible to actually ex excel and, and succeed no matter what. OK, so first of all, the trucking industry is a pillar of the economy. The demand for freight services is consistent and isn't going is going to is not going away anytime soon. You saw what happened even during COVID. They, they, they needed uh, trucking companies. They needed uh, like the, tr the, the the freight industry is actually the backbone of the economy. So even if we, we had COVID, people were kind of stuck home. Basically, drivers, uh, truck drivers were still needed anyway. to really transport to haul goods from one place to another from A to Z. Right. So this is important. And uh, the professionals also uh, find trucking uh, pretty interesting because the life, the life of a truck driver it's seen as a, a lot of a lot of them as a fulfilling the open road different daily routines and the ability to explore various regions can be quite appealing and also as a business owner you have uh, the freedom and flexibility to set your own schedules and routes so this flexibility is really appealing to a lot a lot of uh, individuals so that's pretty interesting and the trucking industry also offers opportunities for significant financial growth once your business is established and you have consistent contracts, the revenue can be substantial. Remember, again, going back to what I said, the trucking industry is the backbone of the economy. OK, and so the revenue can be substantial. The opportunity to expand, hiring more drivers and acquiring uh, more trucks can really lead to uh, even greater profits. And that's really uh, the, the, that's really the vision you should have, because the whole thing is when you have a trucking company, you want to scale at some point anyway, right? You want to scale. You want to go from uh, you being the, the only driver to uh, maybe uh, 10 drivers or to 100 drivers. OK, this is important to really think about that. And uh, there are also many advantages from an employment perspective. Providing jobs in the community can be personally rewarding and drivers often enjoy competitive salaries, flexible schedules and the opportunity to travel as part of their work. So that's really good. So overall, when you think about it, while Starting a trucking company with no money presents its unique set of challenges that I just told you, told you a little earlier. It also offers a significant benefits and opportunities that really make the effort worthwhile. So when you think about strategies when uh, when it comes to uh, starting a trucking company with uh, no money, of course, there are there are a few rabbit holes, that's for sure. But there are a lot of opportunities. Also, I want to share with you a few key strategies for starting a trucking company with no money this year. OK, and the thing is that, uh, I mean, starting a trucking company from scratch with limited capital might seem impossible, but with the right strategies, it can be achieved. And uh, so the first strategy is for you to think about truck leasing. Truck leasing is, is, is really key because you don't have to really spend any cash at all. You just have to have the right paperwork and really engage uh, and really uh, sort of uh, contract. I mean, having a, a leasing contract. Sign, and the cool thing is, if you are able to have a multi a multi month or multi year leasing contract, that's really good. So uh, truck leasing actually actually is great, especially from zero down lease purchase trucking companies. The basic idea is to lease a truck from a company without having to make a down payment. And this box truck leasing uh, for startup business options often come with maintenance packages. And you want to have that. You want to have the maintenance package because you do not want to really spend your time taking care of, uh, I mean, you know, maintaining the truck yourself. And you can also start your operations without the heavy initial cost of buying a truck. I mean, a truck can really cost tens of thousands of dollars in uh, which you don't have anyway. If you're watching, if you listen to this show, if you're watching this show, you don't have the thousands of dollars. OK, however, while leasing a truck requires less capital uh, upfront, it may not really be the most cost effective choice in the long run because you will not own the vehicle at the end of the, the lease. That's for sure. I mean, if this is not something you care about, then you, you're really good anyway. OK, 
Also, some laces come with uh, restrictions on mileage and wear and tear. So be sure to read the terms uh, carefully, especially uh, when it comes to penalties that uh, the, the leasing agency might charge you if you were to go with, uh, with that option. And the second strategy is to really think about government grants. So applying for grants to start a trucking company is another key strategy. Numerous government grants for trucking businesses exist, which can really provide the necessary funds to launch your business. And those grants are beneficial because unlike loans, they don't need to be paid back. And the cool thing is that you can actually get a get a grant, get a grant at the federal level, at the at the state level, at the city level, or at the county level. So this is uh, this really offers an extra layer of, of flexibility. So you want to start by researching your local, state, and federal government websites for available grants. Be prepared to meet certain criteria and submit a detailed business plan. The process can be competitive and time-consuming, but can provide crucial support for your new venture. If you are thinking about uh, starting a trucking company with no money, I want you to think also about partnerships, and partnerships can really, uh, really uh, be really beneficial here. What do partnerships really bring to the table? Well, partnerships can be uh, can actually play a critical role in the early stages of your trucking company. You want to look for, you want to be uh, methodical here, though. You want to be a little bit uh, segregating. In other words, you want to look for companies or individuals that complement your business and can provide resources that you like. Some people call it bootstrapping. Some people call it strategic uh, ventures. Some people call it strategic partnerships. Whatever it is, you have to think about a way to uh, combine your resources with the resources of a, of a third party. Okay, so this going to involve finding a business partner with uh, capital to invest. It may also entail building relationships with uh, businesses that need shipping services, but don't have an in an in house logistics division. Right? It's all about you bringing the expertise, you bringing the the skill set, and uh, somebody else bringing something else. It can be uh, capital. It can be uh, the, the supply chain. It can be uh, an existing, an existing, like a, let's say, a ecosystem of a, of a loads, for instance. Remember that successful partnerships are built on mutual benefits and trust. Right? There, there's got to be a mutual benefit and trust. Otherwise, the whole thing will not, it's not going to work. So it's kind of crucial to find a partner that shares your business vision and ethics. Another strategy when it comes to uh, starting a trucking company with no money is to actually explore private investors and uh, VC, VC options, VC venture capital options, okay? And attracting private investors or venture capital can be a game changer. So to convince them to invest in your business, it's one of those things where you got to have a, a USB, a unique selling proposition. And you got to have a, you need a compelling business plan that showcases the potential profitability of your trucking company it's all about showing the, the cash inflows and the cash outflows to the potential investor right the the projected cash inflows and cash outflows because the thing is that these investors uh, are are pretty uh, pretty sophisticated they will often want equity in your company meaning they will own a percentage of your business if you're willing to see the equity then that's fine anyway you'll get the capital you want okay you can have the necessary funds to start your company but it also means what? It means that you will share your profits with uh, with the investors. Also, investors may want to have a say in how the business is run. So consider this carefully before taking on investments this year or next. If you are thinking about starting a trucking company with no money this year, I want you to think about subcontracting, but also loans. I mean, subcontracting is pretty uh, pretty straightforward, but it really uh, it really depends on the geography where you are at. Some states are pretty uh, are pretty uh, sort of uh, suitable for subcontracting; others are not. I mean, you you have to think about three things when you when you consider subcontracting as a as a truck as a trucking company startup. You got to think about the geography. You have to think about the kind of uh, loads you are gonna haul, and you have to think about also uh, the uh, timing, the chronology. Okay. So when I speak about the, the geography, certain locations, certain city and states, cities and states are more competitive than others. And they also have more demand. So you have you have, you have to look at the demand and supply sort of uh, ecosystem to judge whether or not subcontracting is good for you. 
And when I speak about the kind of loads that you want to haul, well, it depends on uh, whether you want to go with ha with hazmat, for instance, with OTR, or with regular loads, with uh, with reefer. I mean, it really depends. Okay, with perishable, it really depends. And so, subcontracting in the trucking industry involves working under a primary contractor, and this method allows you to operate without needing to secure your own contracts, as the primary contractor will provide you with work and with consistent work, not just with work uh, once in a while, no, with consistent work. And while this can simplify operations and ensure a steady uh, flow of work, it often comes with lower profits. So you have to really, there is also, a, I mean, you know, you have to pay somewhere to gain somewhere. The primary contractor will take a cut, that's for sure. Additionally, you may have less control over your operations as decisions like pricing and scheduling may actually be, be determined by the uh, primary uh, contractor, okay? And uh, the, the last thing you want to try is actually uh, the, the loans. So securing loans for trucking companies is another way to finance your business. Many financial institutions like banks, credit unions, and also alternative lenders offer startup trucking business loans with no credit or bad credit, providing actually an option even for those with less than perfect credit scores. So if you are listening to me right now and you have a bad credit for, for whatever reason, you might want to think about that as well. You might want to think about that option. Now, the process typically involves providing a business plan, undergoing a credit check and potentially providing collateral i mean some lenders will will accept no personal guarantee so that's why no pg and uh, so that's really good and while this can provide the necessary funds to start remember that loans need to be paid back with interest and failing to do so can have serious financial consequences okay so each of the six strategies that, that i just share with you actually can open doors to your dream of owning a trucking company with uh, no money at the beginning Every option has its pros and cons, so it's important for you to really do a thorough research and consider all the factors that are important for your business before deciding the best route for your specific venture. I want to talk about earnings here. I want to close today's conversation with uh, earnings. Of course, it's important to start a to learn how to start a trucking company with no money. But it's it's really a clear it's really important also to have a clear idea of how much the owner of a small trucking company makes right now the income of the owner of a small trucking company can really vary significantly depending on several factors such as the size of the fleet the type of operations the operational efficiency the market conditions but you also have to think about the, the geography how competitive your uh, your uh, your sector is your geography is the time the time of the year okay. But also, uh, very important, you also have to think about the type of loads that you are actually hauling. That's what I mean by uh, type of operations, okay? For instance, when I talk about the size of the fleet, a larger fleet generally means more revenue capital, but also uh, more revenue potential, rather, but also higher potential uh, operating cost, okay? The type of operations, the revenue and profitability can differ based on whether the company focuses on long haul, regional, or local deliveries, as well as the types of goods being transported. And the operational efficiency is also an important criterion. Factors like fuel cost, maintenance expenses, driver retention, and uh, route optimization can great, greatly affect profitability, especially in the short and uh, medium run, okay? And also you have mar market conditions. So supply and demand, freight rates, and competition in the operating region can impact earnings, not only when it comes to uh, the, the load availability but also the regulations okay that said i want to give you a, a few uh, general estimates for the potential income of a small trucking company owner so for an owner operator running a single truck the average annual revenue can range from 40 grand to eighty thousand dollars with profits typically between 15 and thirty thousand dollars after expenses we're going to put this on the screen by the way so for a small fleet of five to ten trucks the owner's income can range from $50,000 to $150,000 or more per year, depending on the factors that mentioned a little earlier. So here I'm speaking about the size of the fleet, the type of operations, operational efficiency, and market conditions. And for a slightly larger fleet of 10 to 20 trucks, successful owners can potentially earn $100,000 to $300,000 or more every single year. So it's important to uh, note that these are rough estimates. And the income can fluctuate substantially based on the specific circumstances 
and management practices of the of the trucking company, right? So everything depends on the specifics of, that you have in your area. So here's an epilogue I want you to pay attention to. In today's conversation, I spoke to you about how to start a trucking company with no money. I give you the prologue, the evaluation, the strategies, and the earnings, and now the epilogue. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous.